Hello and welcome. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Bettina. Thanks for joining me here. So today I'm answering another one of your questions. And today's question is about someone who has experienced a loss. So they've lost a baby um, due to stillbirth. And the question is around dealing with family and friends who are really quite unsupportive and insensitive. So I'm going to actually read you the question because I feel like um, yeah, you need to hear her words. So she says, some of my family were really unsupportive when we lost our baby. Instead of coming to the event we planned to celebrate her life, they chose to go on a holiday instead. Our relationship has never been the same and it, ha and it has hurt our whole family. How do you deal with family who are insensitive and uncaring when you've lost a baby? So it's a big topic. Um, can I first just say I'm really sorry you have had to go through all of this. First to lose a baby and then to have to deal with other people's stuff is not a good situation to be in. And I imagine you feel hurt and really just disappointed that they weren't there for you in the way that you expect that you would be if it was them in your shoes. So I'm sorry that you had to go through that. And I wanted to bring this question up today and I wanted to address it, not because I have the answer, because I've got some ideas of it and my thoughts on it, but I personally haven't experienced this. Um, I haven't had or haven't really felt like family have let me down in any way or even friends. I've definitely found that some friends have drifted away a little since we lost our babies, but it hasn't been as painful as your situation. It, was, it didn't feel like a betrayal. Um, it's just kind of those friendships have kind of drifted off and that's fine. But I wanted to bring it up because I know that there's going to be lots of you who are watching who've had the same experience, who have had experience dealing with it and where to go from here. Because I think the question really is, how do I handle it now? I can't go back. We can't do anything about what's been, but going forward, we're immediate family. How do we, how do we heal that relationship that's been quite broken because of what feels like a lack of support and a lack of empathy and understanding. So if you have experienced this and you're watching this video, I'd love if you would comment on it. I'm sure the person who wrote this question is going to read all the comments. So please feel free to um, respond in how you would handle it. So how would you um, maybe talk to the family or friends? What would you say? How would you deal with the whole situation? So I've got a couple of ideas and like I said, it's not something I've been through, um, but this is how I guess I would think I would approach it. So first of all, I would have a conversation. It wasn't clear from um, your email that you'd ever had a conversation after the fact. So after the hurt, after the high intense emotions of what happened, about what, about how you felt, about saying to them, you know, it really hurt me when you chose to continue going on a family holiday instead of coming to the funeral or the celebration. I'm not sure what you were calling it. Um, because I think until you know that they knew how much it felt and still chose the holiday, you kind of don't know where you stand and you don't know where to rebuild from or if you even need to rebuild. Because I know it's hard to imagine now once you've been through it, but until you have, and I don't say this in a way to negate people who feel empathy for us or for someone who's lost, but until you've been through it, you really don't know how much it hurts. You can imagine, but you can't feel it. And in the same way that I can't feel or imagine how much it hurts to lose a parent because I haven't lost a parent or I haven't lost a sibling. Like until you've experienced that, you don't truly know. And yes, we want to hope that people are empathetic enough to understand, but I don't know what was going on for them at the time. You don't know the whole situation, perhaps. You don't know what was going on in their family. Maybe there is other things that you need to know. So I would openly, without too much um, anger, I would come at it with, I am hurt, this hurt me, and I'd like to have a conversation about it so that we can somehow move forward because I think until you have that conversation and know either way their thoughts on the situation, you can't go anywhere. And maybe 
they respond with absolute horror that they've made you feel this way and they didn't realize. And while yes, you want to tell them, how could you not realize? Um, I think you have to accept that. We don't know what we don't know until we know it. And this conversation is going to maybe help them know, or they may still dismiss it. And you have to be open to the fact that they may be quite dismissive of your feelings still, which is a shitty place to be. But at least you know where you stand. And at least from there you can go, okay, they're still dismissing my feelings. That's not someone who I need to invest any more time and energy into. And you can let go of the hurt because that's what's happening here, I feel, is that you're holding that hurt and it's still wrapped up in all your feelings of grief is this hurt that someone close to you wasn't there for you at the time when you needed and how you needed. So I feel like in order to kind of free yourself from that little bit, you need to have this conversation and it will go one of two ways. They'll either be incredibly apologetic and you'll be able to rebuild from something true and real or they'll be dismissive and you know where you stand and you can start to let go a little. And I know it's incredibly hard to let go of that hurt, but maybe you can take a little step back and realize that if they're being dismissive, it's only you who's carrying the hurt now. So it's only you who's continuing to punish yourself with that feeling. So if you can do the work to try and let it go, then you're gonna find a little bit of freedom from that rather than replaying it and getting stuck in that loop of they weren't there for us because it's not affecting them. If they're dismissing your feelings, it doesn't impact them one bit whether you're feeling hurt still or whether you've moved on. So I think you owe it to yourself to move on in that area. So I hope that helps a little bit. That's personally how I would deal with it. Just trying to get some honesty around the situation to express how you feel. And I know we want people to know already. I know we expect that everyone will feel the same way as us, that they'll understand that in that situation, that's not what you do. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. People don't always understand. They don't think they're in their own world. We live in our own little bubbles. So I think an honest conversation is where I would start. But like I said, this is not something I've personally experienced. So if you have, and you've dealt with it and something's happened, please share your story. Let us know what's happened for you, what worked, what didn't. Um, I think it would be really helpful for this person to hear some other experiences because it's not something we talk about. It's something that we kind of sweep under the rug and carry with us instead of dealing with it openly. So thanks for being a part of the conversation today. I hope this helped a little bit for you. Have a beautiful week and namaste.